It's a project that's been in the making for about three years, a fourth generation prototype of a solar wind turbine that was incubated at DSU's Atwood Innovation Plaza is now being tested at Dixie Power. Um, not only because uh, we get some wind here on, on this ridge, but because we actually charge electric cars here. And uh, we thought, what a way to kind of demonstrate to the community that through innovation, uh, you can generate power and tie that into our system and ultimately charge these electric cars that we have available for our members to test drive. Connected to Dixie Power's grid on the south side of St. George, the solar wind turbine acts as a generator by using Mother Nature to produce electricity. It was designed to combine wind and the sun to make energy in places where there is no power available. The, the intent is basically for people who need to have power away from the grid, possibly a rancher, farmer, remote locations who are uh, hoping to have a, a, a build a design that would be available to those who need to have power where there's plenty of wind, plenty of solar, or a combination of both. Uh, cabins or stock water wells, uh, this is a great application because not only do you get uh, the combination of the solar and the wind application, uh, but that helps with the reliability of producing more power uh, when it's needed for those applications where maybe uh, it's too expensive to, to build power lines or that's too remote. The developing company Three Times Green was also the brainchild of Dr. Wayne Provost, who along with other investors partnered up with students who believe this technology will go big. Wyatt Anderson is one of 11 students who was involved in its design along with engineers. He and Doc Provost monitored an older prototype which used to sit atop the old airport. So this one's a lot more efficient in regards to the shroud design that is around it. It helps it helps kind of cause a vacuum from the back side of the turbine and it just sucks the air through that shroud that we have around it and just makes the turbine move a lot more efficiently. We can kick up the generator for the wind pretty simple. Uh, I hope this is our last one. We can make them bigger and smaller, obviously, but I think we finally not perfected it, but I think we're darn close. Under the supervision of Doc Provost, this patented technology could be the wave of the future, no matter how small the need. It could produce anywhere from like it, roughly around two kilowatts is what we'll be able to produce with this specific turbine, but we can also with the, our go-to-market strategy, we could also put bigger jet wind generators on this and make it to where it could produce a heck of a lot more kilowatts. We're also hooked to their grid, so uh, when they're not charging cars, they're, we're going into their grid. So, pretty neat idea. Thanks to the help of Dixie Power, this technology can be tested and advanced to where eventually it will become commercially available to the public. I would say it'd take us probably a couple, three, four months to get kind of a feel for what this is going to produce and what it's going to do and then also what geographical areas around the United States that we can actually market this to. We're hoping to sell it uh, as a package kit so people can install it themselves and uh, we're probably more interested in the framework of the uh, solar panels and the wind turbine, the electronics are kind of selective to, by the individual so they can do their own electronic uh, selection. Doc Provost said this is one of 128 patents that have been applied for at the One Stop Invention Shop. But uh, this is the most fun I think I've ever had in my life. So. This is one invention that could soon have applications all across the world. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.